forever. Yeah. So welcome. We can seven class. We only have uh, two students left, right? So I have uh, every team that have submitted your team project, team proposal. Have you? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? Good. So let's like see, what do you think you could do? For team teaching. Thank you for yes. what? Some research? For research and we also create two demos to be used by ChatGPT okay. for resolve for the small case problem. Okay, you have to develop something with ChatGPT? Yes. Okay, that's good. We look forward for that, yeah? <laughs> How about you, team? What do you need to do? So we are planning to use digital grid okay. to create a demo and we are still considering which uh, software we are going to use for the demo because okay. there are quite a few options. Yeah, you need to research first, then yes. select the one, but you need to start earlier, right? Yes. Only so we two or three weeks left. Yeah. Yeah? Good, good. So what other team, what do you think? Team one, what do you to do for your team project team? We are going to use ChatGPT and the human resource management on top of the so I include the people of the competition, yeah? We can set it off? Yeah. Not me, everybody, yeah? Not me. Everybody, every, every team, right? Team, uh, tell me the keys. It presented like you guys excellent opportunity. I spend every day five to six hours on the team. We need to check, you know, and have great work, which is my outcome, right? Have you ever checked there? Yeah? I'm not hyper, you me. You guys should be crazy about charging the key. Because it's your lifetime experience. Yeah? We're doing digital perturbation, right? By technology. This will happen for your life in the next uh, five, very soon, two or three years. I will tell you why that's so important. So you guys the right time and uh, you know, you you are going you are about to graduate, right? You should use this code. You have a job, then a job. Yeah? Really good job? Yeah. 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 Okay, it's good to know people. Every new generation, you have to catch it. Then the society we have put together, not only you, we have to put to the next wave of revolution. Right? So I will agree with you how that works. We are free to Then we talk about today about uh, CRM, customer relationship management. Okay? Yeah, so you use for sales, not to support, right? And uh, then I'll give you more time on the top TV to give you some demo shows, right? I want to teach you that you guys real thing. How you can go to revolutionize your life, become rich, <laughs> become famous, right? Like a PFK, right? He is a Harvard, you know, Harvard computer science, and great too. Maybe he got the, you know, the PC, right? He could speak. Nothing reliable, nothing good here, right? You know, a lot of story to be called digital information. Okay, without the further ado, let's welcome Team 4 to present so my team management, yes, digital information. Okay, Team 4, your turn. Team, welcome, one more welcome. Yeah. Wait, let me check. Let me just use uh... Professor, don't start the timer. What was I doing? Okay, you tell me. You tell me. I'm fine. <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh, we are team number four, and we are very much excited to present uh, handheld case. So, small disclaimer: one of our team members got COVID positive, and he couldn't come today but he will be present with us digitally through the laptop. So yeah, at one point you will see him on the laptop presenting as well. 
So I want to study your name, right? So I can be called it. Thank you. Good morning everyone, we are Team 4 and uh, my name is Valanki Kaur and we are here to present the Hankel di uh, Digital Transformation Case Study uh, coming to the first part of the uh, slide and that is complete background and historical timeline and uh, uh, here I am going to talk about little bit about company background and historical timeline. Firstly, what is digital transformation? Digital transformation is the integration of digital technology in all the areas of business, fundamentally changing how we operate and transfer values to the customers. And Hankel is a general multinational um, um, cosmetics uh, and a general, general international company that produces materials. And uh, in uh, it treats Hankel and two other pass, uh, two other partner who is the owner of the factory producing sodium silicate. It first product was a silicate detergent, and uh, its headquarter is located in Düsseldorf, Germany. And the company was founded in 1876. And the Dutch company was originally organized into three business units. Uh, that are laundry and home care, beauty care, and enhanced technology. And the company also uses information from research and development surveys to produce a new product in the production process. And also to fit in the competition for a long period of time, the company also uses social media platforms to interact and influence its customer. Now coming to the second year, 1907. In 1907, Persil was launched as the world's first self-acting laundry detergent and which was organized as the cornerstone of Hankel growth since then. The personal growth was uh, twofold and as it eliminating the physical task of washing clothes by hand and which also use the bleach and the detergent to wash the clo uh, clothes instead of chlorine and uh, it is a uh, detergent and uh, and today's person is considered as number one uh, German detergent and also also the one of the most popular brand of uh, brand of the laundry home care business units. Then coming to the 1992, here the Hankel entering to the cosmetic ma cosmetic market in 1991. The ha Hansel, Hansel integrate into its adhesive business and supply chain technology business. In 2008, Hankel commits to becoming a climate positive uh, company and to achieve this objective. It is working with its supplier to maintain a sustainable packaging, uh, sustainable packaging, and also commits uh, uh, economic, economic, uh, economic program. And in 2012, uh, in 2012, Hanker announces 2020 plus strategy, and their main aim is to uh, main aim, aim is to uh, transfer more information and to all the operators so they can uh, operate their uh, all the operation successfully and in 2017 uh, the it, uh, the company launches Hankel Han Han X the internal and external unit uh, so uh, to connect with the startups and digital innovators in 2018 uh, the Hankel introduces a new business model for its adhesive business offering smart adhesive solution and uh, to achieve this the company focus on three main areas using sustainable packaging uh, developing a uh, smart uh, sus uh, using sustainable material and also focus uh, on uh, and also focus on the sustainable uh, material and in 2020 Hankel expands is footprints in China as we launch the new e-commerce platform from where the customer purchase the products online and uh, since there is a despite decline in the economic global economy due to the COVID-19 at that time COVID-19 as a as, as its own peak but the uh, company deliver a robust for performance due to its various factors the factors are the uh, sufficient uh, investments and uh, the so who is going to try to see if it's a full of Yeah, okay. Yeah. In 2021, Hankel continues its digital transformation efforts and focus on artificial intelligence automation to enhance the efficiency and innovation. Next, my friend Isha will explain you about the financial statements. Make sure you cut your time, right? About you know, three minutes. 
So hi guys, my name is Shah Kakeya and now I'm going to present our financial position statement. So uh, Hankel uh, reported a momentum gain and continue uh, continued growth uh, in its quarterly uh, financial reporting. So each of the each of the various business units experienced double digit uh, nominal and organic sales growth across all business units. Uh, they, uh, they made group sales of approximately uh, 6 million euros. So uh, this was uh, scientific, uh, scientifically reported 11.3 nominal growth and 17.3 uh, percentage increase in uh, orga uh, organic sales. So based on the uh, based on the so based on the uh, results, the business have created a perception. Uh, that includes integrating uh, home, laundry, and uh, beauty care brands for limited guidance. So they uh, the sales expected. So uh, so all group sales are expected to improve, but adjusted the earning per preferred share. Uh, they uh, fall, uh, they fall in uh, coming uh, quarter. Next slide, please. So here I'll talk about. Uh, Three key decision uh, decision makers: CEO and executive team. Second one is management board and shareholders committee, and third one is supervisory board. So, uh, Henkel CEO is uh, Carsten Nobel, and uh, he is the one who makes early right decisions of Henkel. So, his assistant, um, so his assistant is Simon Mosen. Management board and shareholder, uh, uh, sorry, the shareholder committee and management board uh, work closely with shareholders uh, committee and supervisory board. Uh, the share, uh, shareholders committee and management uh, board meet regularly to discuss for, uh, to discuss company's current and future uh, directions. So here, supervisory board also works very closely with management board. To ensure uh, compliance with uh, legal requirement on corporate governance standard. So further, we'll continue. Uh, my time. Thank you. Uh, I'm Ming Siwa. I will discuss the five uh, parts of five parts of the handle case. Overall, we, we after the analysis, we believe that the overall risk of handle is low and safe because of its stable operations. Transparency 
density of energy consumption are a very best part of the of the hand type production for this sustainability issue. Uh, as this combines the CEO sustainability and goal. Thank you. <laughs> so Mario will be <laughs> in the yeah. You can make it go a little closer. Okay. Yes. Yes. Guys, you have to be really quiet here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
So uh, they, that platform is able to process uh, more than a million data assets coming both internally and externally. Uh, with that uh, platform, uh, Henkel successfully was able to have different uh, business and uh, like business use cases. And for example, some of them include uh, digital twin in uh, in. digital twin of sustainability in machine granularity, which means uh, they uh, they were able, like it was a pilot project in 28 factories where they were able to control water, waste, and energy consumption, and they were able to make it sustainable and save their resources. And the second one that I want to mention is um, digital end-to-end -end dispatching and tracking system, which is basically uh, talk, like covers the right time delivery to customers. Uh, based on the, uh, on the platform, the customers are able to know uh, when exactly the goods will be delivered, and uh, it uses the GPS, uh, tracking system, and then uh, the weather, the factory outputs, and considering all those uh, data assets, they are able to know when exactly the delivery will happen. And the second one I want to talk about is called Digital Backbone. It started uh, back in 2011 as a uh, sustainability initiative, and it was supposed to run only for 11 months, but it ended up successfully running for two years. And initially it was uh, launched uh, in uh, 30 factories. Um, eventually the digital backbone grew into one of the uh, unique projects uh, of Henkel. And now uh, it covers uh, one of the three main issues, uh, such as increases production line efficiency and contributes to more sustainable manufacturing and keeps people safe from accidents. So for example, the third one is very interesting. How it works is uh, people have to wear the special badges. They're like, they kind of mind of air tags by Apple. And uh, while they wear those badges, uh, they are able to keep themselves safe from forklifts because forklifts uh, identify those badges and they have the uh, different sensors that make sure that no accidents will happen. So next is uh, just me presenting. Thank you. Oh yes, and um, to like although Henkel is uh, digitally very advanced in their technologies, uh, there are still uh, different risks that they have, such as. Uh, in case if they don't have uh, internet connectivity or if it's not strong enough, uh, they might uh, lose their real-time data and they won't be able to track different uh, measurements. Uh, also, just like any digital technology, they are prone to external hacking attacks and they can have uh, bug issues and accidental data leakages. And the last one, uh, Henkel is very open to uh, collaborating with small technological startups, which means they might not necessarily have the resources that might cover the potential issues. You have a three more minutes, yeah? Totally. Yeah, we need to mention. Okay, so uh, hi everyone, I'm Jasmine. I'm going to discuss the major issues mentioned in this case. So the first one, um, Henkel is anticipating Handel is anticipating possible problems in their capacity to grow and meet demands in the future as they continually grow. The second one, there is a complicated process in ensuring the vendors, suppliers, and partners in providing data for transparency and control. And the next one, the shift, their shift in digitalization of required employees to learn new skills. And there, the fourth one, there has been a lot of changes ongoing in the 
the organization that it overwhelmed the employees and the organization itself. The next one, so their digital transformation um, story is basically a trial and error process and it always has risk and failures. And the last one, um, so Handel is Handel has innovation pilot programs before they launch the actual change in the organization. So in this process, it's a trial and error, so it is time consuming and more expensive than it turned out to be. And there is no sufficient return on investment. And for the next one, the fish flow root cause analysis of the company. So basically we um, we saw that the main problem is the digitalization itself that caused the primary um, problems, which is in the technology, process, organization, and <coughs> and these are the effects. And for the next one, since we don't have time. So this is the matrix, I'll just explain it very quickly. So actually, in the, this is the matrix, we take the uh, options as the rules and the uh, factors as the columns. So after that, we uh, divide uh, with the comparative relativity of the options and the factors and then we rank them and uh, give them the grades according to our conclusions. So here we took one as the important, like the less important, two as the important and three as the most important. So when we characterize all the details and the problems, first would be the transparency and control of the supply chain. There are many issues in the supply chain when we really work on a business. After that, we need to clear that, but there are some things we need to really focus more, more than the supply chain issues. That would be the overloading of changes in the organization to elevate those. We can just um, get into touch with the various uh, techniques and the strategies like the focus as uh, my friend discussed earlier. So we can just use those techniques to uh, get uh, like overcome the uh, changes in the organization. Those would be the change management uh, strategies and techniques which are generally employed with big companies and uh, many big organizations do employ these uh, kind of strategies to um, uh, overcome the uh, supply chain and many other issues uh, working in the chain management. After that, uh, so uh, the decision and the recommendations which we could uh, give to the handle according to our research and the discuss, we can say that Tensor must continue to invest in the digital transformation uh, strategies and techniques that would be the uh, ZAP and SPARC and uh, RAQN and partnership with Adobe to improve its uh, seamless uh, wireless connections. After that, uh, they can uh, like invest into 5G and the TSN, uh, time sensitive networking, so that uh, they can really uh, get a boom into the business and uh, keep up with the pace of the organization with the people in the uh, uh, like real world who are really demanding something from the organization and the technologies are moving. So they really need to uh, keep a pace with the other organizations so that they don't uh, feel a boon uh, or pain in the industry if they really compare themselves to other organizations. As well as uh, anchor much prioritize sustainability in digital transformation because uh, according to the time is increasing, so uh, the digital transformation is also changing and there are many, many differences as we can see the all the AI software and everything is changing right now. So there are many advances and changes in the culture. So that's only we really need to uh, think about. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Great, great. That's a very interesting case for supply chain management. Uh, I have a question, if, if they allow me. Uh, not done yet. Uh, we could ask a question right now. But, uh, I like to start the question first. <laughs> <laughs> OK. So we try to go to the MC case in the real situation. Right? So we are among the consumer. Anybody use this? Uh,